hey guys welcome back to my channel and of course welcome if you're new today i will be styling my pixie into a mohawk or faux hawk whatever you like to call it but if you want to see how i get things done just stay tuned okay so my hair is already pre-wrapped i wrapped it off camera the only thing i did was add some slight finger waves to the sides only and i molded the back straight down i didn't wrap the top of my hair i just left it to air dry so what i'm doing now is just blow drying the top only just to get any kinks out and to just just to stretch it out a little bit So next I'm using the Sleek and Shine by Fructis, I believe, Fructis or Garnier. Uh, it's, a, it's a serum, it works as a heat protector. It adds some shine and slip to my hair. So I'm just running that through the back, the sides and all over, just anywhere that I will be using a flat iron. And yes, guys, I did end up rubbing the excess on my elbows just in case I had ashy elbows. <laughs> I tend to do that sometimes, so don't judge me. <laughs> okay, so I am going to be styling my hair using the Red by Kiss half inch flat iron okay so i'm going to be starting with the sides and then the back the main objective here is just to bump every part of my hair as i possibly can so there's no real i guess process or procedure to this i'm just trying to curl every piece of hair that i can possibly um, catch with the flat iron and yeah so so curling I go When I get to the back, I can't really see what I'm doing. So I'm just basically feeling and curling and just pulling out pieces of hair and curling. Um, I know I need a haircut, guys. I need to get a lineup. I need to go to the hairdresser or the barber. But I eventually would like to put my hair in a ponytail. <laughs> so I'm gonna try and just keep whatever's growing, growing out. For now, Thank you. 
So I decided to add some Chi Argan Oil Serum to the front of my hair. So that's what that little bottle is. And for the top of my hair, I am using a one inch flat iron by Remington. And the only thing I'm doing to the top now is curling it back into the back of my hair, towards the back of my hair, so that it can blend with the back. So I'm doing really tight curls, and then eventually I will be fluffing them out. So now that I'm finished curling my hair, the the next step I do that's very important is to fluff and stretch um, the curls so they don't look so defined and so that there's some body. And also what I'm trying to do is blend the top with the back. Just using my nails, you can also use a wide tooth comb. So that would help too. So you just need to fluff, pull and stretch until you reach your desired style. So now I'm using some edge control, perfect edges from Cream of Nature to just slick down the front and the sides. Next, I'm using the Murray's Beeswax to just give it an extra hold on the sides. I want the sides, I'm trying to make the sides as flat as possible. So I'm trying to use that to hopefully achieve that. So just taking some beeswax and just uh, slicking it on the sides. And of course, I am going in with some spritz holding spray, mega hold spritz. Okay, to kind of seal the deal. And then I'm using a, I call it a head wrap, but I'm pretty sure it's like a foam, not even a foam. Um, let's just call it a head wrap to tie down, to slick down the sides. So I usually keep this on for about 10 to 15 minutes or I'll keep it on until I'm ready to leave 
This is just to keep the back and the sides as flat as possible. And of course, I'm gonna finish off with some olive oil, oil sheen to give it some sheen, some more sheen. Yes, yes, yes. All right, and this is pretty much my finished look. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this Mohawk Pixie style. Um, so if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. Um, don't forget to leave a comment below if you like this video or if you have any questions, sorry. <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. See you in my next one. Bye.